On March 8th, there was a House meeting. The specifics of that meeting for the House of Representatives of the United States of America, presumably, were to discuss a bill around background checks for people that were seeking to own firearms. That's not what it was about. I read through the bill, I went through, through, through the primary bill. What it was about was giving Congress authority to compile inventories on firearms and ammunition. Now, the question of what constitutes a firearm legally, especially in the course of us living in a context of manufacture and use of biological weapons that are allowed to be misrepresented and misidentified as some form of health care, and especially in a complete and abject failure of Congress to take responsibility for the full implications of Fast and Furious, which I understand as recently as three months ago was being correlated with the CDC in a form of kickback that was so grotesque it's hard to even speak of. There were at least 10 different grant opportunities being provided by the Centers for Disease Control and how to assess people's emotional responses and behavioral outlooks based upon their exposure to gun violence. That is not in any way, shape, or form an acceptable alternative to actually prosecuting a strategic policy to traffic people to see how much coverage you could get for trafficking arms, up to and including arms that, if nothing else, are coded to run processes concurrent to uranium stock announcements and meetings concerning the safety of uranium. I mentioned this because I had said that what needed to happen was that that meeting needed to be shut down. And that the members of Congress that thought that they were going to make that very, very high stakes, very, very large scale gamble with American lives under the auspices of background checks for firearms before they had even adequately dealt with the Obama era policy around background checks for national security, which basically, as I far as I'm concerned and have experienced, means that somebody can say under the rubric of national security that they can make up a completely fabricated ideation of what your life is about, create profiles, let other people run a profile in your name, and then make you work scenarios and rationales for their economic and financial portfolios in your background while you try to go through your day. It's not a derivative. It's an act of terrorism, and it's an act of terrorism that unfortunately seemed to have been perpetrated and covered up at the highest levels. Now they want to talk about these backgrounds. That's not what they they are. They're about compiling inventories. It should have been shut down. It wasn't shut down. And the risk right now and the problems we are experiencing are so significant that literally the alleged Secretary of Defense had to go to Afghanistan. Why? Did he have to collect their inventory? There are numerous reports about how there were busts of Taliban cells and there were all these weapons that were confiscated. Again, 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 the United States is not taking responsibility for profligacy and organized crime within its own ranks that saturated the highest levels of government administration and providing for our national security, including in connection with our energy. And instead, we're going to go try to take out a loan from Afghanistan. Because let's be fucking honest. That's what that is. We're taking out a loan from Afghanistan. And not only are we taking out a loan from Afghanistan, we're taking out a loan from the the, 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 the triangle south of the border by importing children from other countries and harvesting them in downtown Dallas. Because that's how profligate and irresponsible and reckless this so-called leadership of the energy sector has been in these years. You're not getting away. Let me tell you this, and I'm going through the police because you guys seem to have found a way to get the police to do your dirty deeds, to do your dirty deeds in the absence of anything else that was supposed to be law enforcement. So I'm talking to you, everybody listed here, everybody that went to that meeting with Donald Trump on April 3rd of 2020, this is what I'm telling you right now. You are not getting away. With what you did. You better get your fucking personal inventory together. 
And you better understand that all those other people that you said were going to be made available as assets to pay your debts are not going to be available. You personally are going to have to pay for this. You're not getting away with dumping any more of your disgusting loans on the people of this country or anywhere else in the world and telling us we need to pay for intentionally premeditated, orchestrated acts of terrorism. That's not acceptable. You are not in a situation of vulnerability. You were the ones that thought you were badass enough to take this on. And you're also the ones who are too fucking cowardly to even admit that's what you did. If you had anything close to a just cause, you would have already made sure you had supported laying a foundation to make a formal declaration of war and then preparing us accordingly. That's not what you've been doing. You've been attempting to reverse engineer stuff you intentionally created in a shoddy manner, hoping that you would be able to pass it off as insurance to cover your losses. Your insurance policies are canceled. And if that means we have to shut down the Department of State and all the other people that it's been allowed to secretly program into running subroutines to cover up for, literally cover up for, organized criminal syndicates that have infiltrated the energy sector and other sectors through that, then that's exactly what's going to happen.